the EPP group wants to better coordinate EU actions that are likely to have an impact in developing countries. The legislation is called Policy Coherence for Development, or PCD. Policy Coherence for Development is um, about minimizing the contradictions and uh, building the synergies between different EU policies in the way that they are uh, coherent. It means that we have to avoid the situations in which we help someone on the one way and we harm them in the another. Janina Ohojska of the EPP Group is spearheading the legislation in the European Parliament. She gives a concrete example of PCD, halting deforestation caused by products sold in or imported by the EU, notably including coffee. That means helping farmers to stop cutting down forests in order to grow crops for export. So, we can drink our coffee each morning thanks to promotion of PCD and the EU law coordination. That means that only coffee, which doesn't have an impact on deforestation, can be imported to the EU. And how to help those farmers stop cutting down trees. It's very important to help those small holders uh, to comply with this new regulation. So that's why we push uh, very strongly on the European Commission to grant as well a technical uh, assistance uh, to those uh, countries to build new partnerships with those uh, countries and local communities to be able to comply because if we don't help them they might be tempted to, to uh, deliver the products to uh, other uh, um, customers. Deforestation is just one example. It's very important that our policy measures are beneficial all over and do not contradict each other. So we take care that some products like coffee or soya or meat are produced in a sustainable way. This might lead to less production, but better production, better wages also for the local people, and also to more quality products for, uh, for Europeans. Ahoyska has witnessed many examples of clashing policies in developing countries, working with her NGO, Polish Humanitarian Action. We can protect the planet and protect small farmers. Uważam, że małe farmy są bardziej produktywne i dają możliwość tym rodzinom utrzymanie się z małej farmy. We uh, have uh, one uh, common goal, uh, one common challenge. We know that uh, around 10 million hectares uh, of forests are cut down every year, and this is, of course, they are the lungs of our planet. You know, I attended climate conferences, and I could see how important it is to bring the money from the development policy together with the climate adaption measures. So we have to match this to bring really effective measures uh, to our partners all over the world. Thus, the objective of the EU legislation. The aim of this report was to improve our internal procedures so that uh, Europe's policies are coherent and that they help uh, uh, our partners from uh, developing countries instead to harm them.